SQLite is an awesome little database that comes bundled with Python. I'm your host, John McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we're going to take a look at that little database. We're going to show how to uh, create a new database. We're going to create a table in our database, and then we're going to select some records from that table and output them to the console to show how you can get started with SQLite and just see how how easy it is to get started with, with SQLite because it is actually bundled with Python and it's super easy to get started. So without further ado, let's get to our Python on SQLite. Are you a developer and looking for your next contract? Make sure to check out the links in the description. Okay, so I'm using a default uh, installation of Python here from python.org and I'm going to uh, create a new file and I'll just drag that over. I'm just using the uh, idle editor here, our idle shell, and uh, I'm just going to import uh, SQLite uh, 3, which comes bundled with Python 3, which is awesome, um, and, uh, and then from SQLite 3 I'm going to import the uh, error so that we can output any errors that we might see uh, into the console just so that we can troubleshoot if we need to and uh, and we can sort of get started. And so getting started is very very easy with SQLite. Like I said it's bundled so you just import SQLite 3. You can um, you know set up, I'm going to set up a variable for my connection. I'll set up a variable uh, with the uh, destination uh, file in it and uh, and that's going to be my, I'll just call it mysqlite.db. Uh, that's going to be our SQLite uh, data file. Um, you can do an in-memory database, which I will cover in a future episode. Uh, if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you put that in the comments below, because uh, in-memory databases, of course, are super fast. Um, and then, so once we've got our file, uh, we our, our uh, file name set up, we can... We're going to set up a try accept block here um, so that we can catch any errors that happen and output those to the console. And once we've got our connection, uh, which we use, we'll say CNN is equal to sqlite3.connect, and then we'll put our file name variable in there. And uh, then we can just, you know, we'll I'll set up an SQL string here uh, to do some DDL, um, and we'll do a create table. Uh, statement. So I'll say create table and you know if not exists. Um, so if we run this again it won't create it over again. I'll say uh, create table if not exists car. We'll do a car table I guess. And uh, I'll create this string here. So I'll say um, you know ID is uh, an integer and that's going to be uh, a primary key. And uh, um, and then we'll do a car make um, as the, the next one here. Actually, I'll go up and I'll set that integer uh, to integer. I'm used to putting int. I'm not sure if SQLite allows you to use the short forms, but uh, I'll, I'll say integer here. And I'll say car make is text because that's the text data type that we have in, in uh, SQLite. And I'll put the car model as text. Um, and the uh, car color as text, and then I'll put one numeric field in as a real, um, and we'll say uh, car car price, and we'll we'll put that in as a real uh, data type, and then we can close that off. That's our our create table statement, and uh, that should be good enough to throw some records in there. We'll create a table, and then we'll throw some records in. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll say that the that CS is equal to the uh, connection cursor. And uh, so now we've got a cursor object and we can just ex execute SQL statements using our cursor. And you can see just how easy it is to get rolling with a new database in SQLite because we've already... Um, the connect statement will create the database file if it, if it didn't exist. Um, so make sure you, you know that. So the first time we connect, it's going to create that mysqlite.db. And the second time, we, if we run this, it's going to say, OK, I know that that database is already there, so I'm just going to connect to it. And so what I'll do is uh, I'm just going to uh, put some 
uh, I'll say table created, and then we're gonna put our accept in there, er, accept error as E, and then we'll print E into the console if there's an error. And then we're gonna put a finally on there because we always wanna close our database connection so we don't leave anything open. Um, that's good practice to, to make sure that it gets closed. So we'll put that in the finally part of the block and then I'll just put done at the end, I guess. So, so what this will do is it's gonna run through, it's gonna create that table, and, uh, and then if it makes it all the way to the end, it'll say, you know, table created and then done. It's gonna create that car table. It's got, you know, ID as an integer, uh, car make, car model, car color, car price, uh, with different data types. And, and then it's got an error block there that, um, or pardon me, an error section. It, okay, so I, I run it using F5 and it looks like it's, it ran fine. So uh, the database connected, it created the table. And so we're, we're in good shape. So if I run it again, that if not exists is going to uh, make sure that, you know, it doesn't error out because it'll check if it's there, if that table is there. So we can run it again after we insert some, some uh, records here. And we'll do that by using an insert statement. And so what I'm going to do is I'll do an insert statement. I'll do a multiple insert statement. Um, so I'll do insert into car and then we'll in put our ID field in, our car make, model, and color, and price. And, uh, and then we'll, we can put those in. We can do a multiple insert on SQLite, which is great. Um, some databases don't support that, which is, you know, like uh, you can't do this in Microsoft Access doing a multiple insert in one statement, uh, but we can do it in SQLite, which is really great. Um, so we'll say uh, values, our first car, we'll do BMW, M3, red, and you know, $100,000. And then um, and then we'll do our second car, we'll do a Honda Accord. Uh, I'll do car two and Honda and Accord, and I guess we'll do uh, white for that one. And, uh, and then like 40,000 or something like that. And uh, th just to show, we're gonna throw a couple records into our SQLite database. We've already got started. We created the database. The database file is created. We've got a table in there. Now we're throwing some, we're gonna throw some records in there. And we'll do that, um, you know, using our insert statement with all the different fields that we have. And uh, in the same way as we did before, we're gonna use that uh, you know, that cursor. So there's our BMW M3 red 100,000. And, uh, and we can go ahead and use our cursor. Uh, so we'll say cs.execute SQL. And, uh, and, and that's going to execute that statement. It's very, very simple. Um, as you can tell, if you had a bigger project with tons of data, all different data types and, and stuff, um, you're going to be able to even with relations and doing joins and all kinds of stuff. Uh, we got started so fast here without having to install any drivers or anything, um, which is really awesome. So what I'll do just after we do our insert there, hopefully we don't get an error. Um, I'll say select star from car. And, uh, and then we can, again, just like we did before, we'll use cs.execute um, SQL and and then, uh, and then we'll take the result from that and we'll load that into, uh, we'll load that and then loop through the rows that come back. And so I'll just say RST equals cs.fetchall and, uh, and then I'll just say for row in, in RST, um, I'll just say uh, print row. And, and that should give us some output which would be really awesome to look at uh, if we don't get any errors. And so as you can see now, we're doing a select statement um, as opposed to, you know, an insert or a create. And so if I hit F5, um, you know, with our select statement, I should get our records back. Um, and uh, there we go. So yeah, it looks like it went through uh, database. Uh, so there's our, our table entries, um, you know, for our cars with different data types. And, um, and so that is exactly what we wanted to see and that is how you can use Python on SQLite. Need help or coaching on your project? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to use SQLite with Python. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up. 
Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Click the bell when you see the bell and put any questions or comments in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.